One thing I haven't spoken about in a while, besides the music thing, which I finally got to as of yesterday, is the NBA. I haven't spoken about that since February. And... What annoys me about the NBA is that its fan base seems really impressionable. They really fall for the television advertisements and buy just about anything. I think it's more closely related to the younger fan base, yet youth and a weaker agency. I'm probably going to lean with the latter and say that it's just an agency problem. Because not everyone develops a strong sense of agency. And this is the docile fan base to propagate anything. For starters, straight off the bat, I can say this. The NBA marketed Space Jam. And to this day, people are still trying to convince me that that's a good movie. I know Nostalgia Critic made a bad review of this movie, but this was one of the two or three movies where I actually saw it prior to the critic's review, and I have to say, dot for dot, I agree with everything he says. Because... That movie... straight garbage. People are saying it's a classic, that it's their favorite crossover. Black guys are masturbating to bugs and that blonde bunny. Fucking. There are officially black furries out there. And they're worse than the anime tar furries, because at least those guys have an understandable fetish, relatively speaking. Because anime people barely look human, too, and people fat to that, too. So at one, what point does something go from looking human enough to fat to, and too far? Well, I guess that's up to the person. But Space Jam, that's an undisputed doo-doo fest of a movie. It's just commercial garbage. The second thing that's marketed is Gatorade. What's Gatorade? Gatorade is Kool-Aid bottled up with the gimmick that it gives you electrolytes. And they give you energy. It basically has a battery effect on you. It can charge you up and make you do all these awesome athletic things while sweating out their juice. Which is what I think is happening in the commercials. I don't think they just pour it on themselves. Because that will be sticky and disgusting. I think the commercials are trying to tell you that they actually sweat out the juice. In the same food coloring that it came with. So if you drank an orange one, you're going to sweat orange. Or a green one if you drank the green stuff. But it's essentially just nuclear, radioactive, Kool-Aid. Kind of reminds me of vitamin water. Because vitamin water is just Kool-Aid with various gimmicks thrown on it. Like focus and anti-aging and stuff like that. Just dumb gimmicks that they expect you to fall for, but they can easily fall back with a... No one's stupid enough to buy into this. Refute in case they get sued. Which they do get sued for. Three are the Gatorade shoes, which are somehow even more mind-boggling than the original concept, because they just... They're trash. Why would I want to eat one of those? It's 
terrible. I mean, I can understand the drink, because the drink tastes good, at the very least. It's sugary, it has all sorts of flavors, it has a nice sense of variety. It definitely has more of a kick to it than Kool-Aid, which is just battery water. And I like the nuclear aftertaste. It doesn't taste like it's been artificially sweet, and it tastes kind of nice, with a nice ethereal tang to it. kind of makes me feel like I'm going to heaven in just about a second. And then, Jordans or anything Foot Locker related. Jordans are an interesting pair of shoes because really I like the new buck material for some of them. I like the patent letter as long as it's used judiciously. Sometimes they overuse it and the designs start to look more and more postmodern. You've noticed that the later Jordans, especially in the early 2000s, have become less and less aesthetically pleasing. They're starting to get better again, or at least they have been for a while. Yet at the same time, the fact that people are copying the retros showcases the fact that <laughs> the market has stayed in preference to the more simplistic looking Jordans. And the different colorways and gimmick changes and empty modifications that are just like two or three differences, all these things showcase that Jordans really are overrated. And my favorite are sevens and the twelves. Just to let you know, I'm not in Team 11 because the gimmick of a business professional basketball sneaker never made sense to me. Let's see. But aside from the Jordans, a lot of other Nike shoes and, and anything Foot Locker related, so even Adidas. I buy a lot of Nike stuff. Well, I don't buy it. I get them as gifts. You've seen me wear various Nike shirts, including the Swag Don't Come Cheap shirt, the Not A Role Model shirt, the Foam Posit Freak shirt. Nike is my thing when it comes to that, or hats, or other sets of gear, as they like to call it. Shit. The fact that it's been pretentiously marketed with these high-budget commercials that go for a movie trailer aesthetic, that disturbed me because I know that it makes people mark out. I've seen it happen. <sighs> Hold on.
Are you trying it? I'm going to try to get my rest. Make a left. All right. Hmm. That did last longer than it should, yet uh, I got a phone call stating that my great-grandma is seeing the end of her days. Lung problem, she's 85, and, you know, 80. Great grandma. And the white blood cells aren't responding, so they're doing as best as they can, but times are drawing near. Which is something I've felt since the last couple of times I've seen her. Anyway, let's see. They also advertise shitty video games and shitty music. I'm not just talking about the urban dollet stuff, which is actually a relevant minority. Not a lot of the rap I hear is high bass stuff. Ironically, a lot of what the NBA advertises to people is that pretentious hipster. Not even pretentious all the time, they have some nods, which I consider quality. That Brahmin level street friendly kind of music cold play a uh, couple of hipster related tracks jay-z i've noticed the last two k's have had those kinds of soundtracks where there might be a little rap and then there'll be some rock that fits that james blunt your beautiful variety and the video games have been trying to pass the cliches of basketball. They've expanded their rosters, included interesting details like the celebrity teams and dream teams. It's not just all the NBA teams, but regular NBA teams that compete in seasons. But beyond that, they've incorporated RPG elements. They've incorporated various elements. Regardless, the last thing that they've marketed to commoners, and people have eaten this up, is the gay issue with Jason Collins coming out. They've marketed it hard, and I'm pretty sure that's why Darren Young of the WWE has come out, besides probably avoiding the release contract. And it has turned the team face, which I see as a good thing. But regardless, it makes for excellent propaganda because NBA memes loves that shit. I'm pretty sure they all wished Chris Bosh would be the one, but not going to happen. He's a married man. Anyway, this is Mr. Wonka 7. I want to let you guys know from the bottom of my heart that Hmm. Then my YouTube videos and my run here so far has been beasts. And while I am kind of facing a lot of issues right now because of that phone call, I just want to let you guys know that I have love for each and every one of you. And that y'all better suck my dick and respect the king. Ha! <laughs>